We're waiting for the bride and groom to get ready, so I thought maybe we'd pick up some more questions. Really, wait about 10 minutes uh, before they're done. Uh, some questions from yesterday that maybe uh, you guys would be interested in hearing the answers to. So I don't know if you want to come up with some. Uh, I can also explain our first segment that we're going to do. It says first look. Um, I shoot a lot of Jewish weddings and other weddings as well where uh, it is probably more beneficial to get the formals out of the way before the ceremony so that the transition from ceremony to reception is smooth, uninterrupted. And to do that, uh, I do the first glance so that the bride still has the opportunity to have her husband-to-be see her uh, first and go, oh my goodness, and get that expression on his face. So we'll talk a little bit about that, how I set it up why I marinate him for a while and let him sit and stew in the feelings before I allow him to turn around. But I don't know if we have any questions that we could address Absolutely. this morning. Nope. All right, cool. We do. Cool. How about if we start out with a story? Because there ah. is a, a request from Galden, Galdeno Photo from San Diego. His name's Joe. And he says, I was in the front row, first seat at the WPPI in Las Vegas. And you told the story about the couple you shot their newborn in the hospital. Please tell it. Oh, my goodness. Roy, if you're chiming in right now, it's Roy from Triple Scoop Music and his lovely wife, Liza. I photographed their wedding uh, a few years ago. And uh, a couple years ago, a little longer than two years ago, um, Liza got pregnant and they were, uh, you know, obviously having a baby, but uh, she had to go to the hospital. There were complications and uh, Unfortunately, they lost their son after being alive for, I think, a couple of hours or less. So uh, it was devastating to them and all of us that knew them. And lo and behold, I get a, a call from Roy one day, a little over two years ago, and he says, um, so Joe, Liza's pregnant. I said, oh my goodness, that's great. We're taking all the precautions this time. Uh, the doctors are on it. Um, this is going to be great, but would you do us a, a, a favor and photograph the birth? I said, well, yeah. And again, well, let's go back really fast to what I said yesterday. I, I become embedded in the family. Um, I get really a, a close connection with my clients, all of them pretty much, and I stay connected with them over the years. So here was again an another opportunity for me to photograph a new family. So Roy said, listen, it, it's going to be early because uh, there may be complications. So she's going to have to go through a C-section. Um, and uh, you, no, no uh, people are allowed in the operating room uh, unless your family. So you're going to have to be Uncle Joe. So I'm Uncle Joe. And I, I think I talked about that yesterday as well. So I said, sure, call me up. So the night before, he, he says, can you be here at 6, 6.30 in the morning? I said, yep, be there with bells on. And I was able to document the birth. Uh, it was, Gavin came out, and while there was some concern, and you could see Liza's expressions in, in the, in the um, actual slideshow about how nervous she was, and Roy was bending over her, touching her face and he was whispering things to her that I couldn't make out but clearly Liza could and you could see the angst leave her face and then you see a relaxed face and then you see a smile creep out and the whole time the doctors are working on her Gavin comes out and you could hear him belt out a scream three stories down in the hospital that's how loud so initially there was a concern about his development of lungs but the concern is over and Liza burst out into tears and happiness and it was an amazing time again when I say to you like this is the most honored time to be in people's lives weddings well, the other one is births uh, to be present for that I think those are two occasions I think that are for photographers are incredible opportunities to be witness and be part of moments like that. So I, that was my story for Roy and Liza and Gavin. That's amazing. Yeah, and it was cool. And now are you photographing Gavin growing up? Well, and the thing is, is that uh, um, he's been to my son's birthday party as a little baby in a stroller. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably gonna, he's two now, 
and he's a little dude, and uh, Uncle Joe's gonna definitely see him when he gets back. I, I actually talked with Roy uh, via uh, texting uh, last night and said, see you when I get back. The family's gonna do something together, and so that's what we'll do. That's excellent. Yeah, it was fun. That's sweet. All right, how about another story? A Photoshop girl this morning asked if you could tell us more about the bride with the roses, bo uh, the roses bouquet and the circular staircase. I think that's on our um, Creative Live uh, uh, website. Kelly Pickler. Yep, and yeah. um, can you talk about the editing you used to make that just so vibrant and beautiful okay. and how you captured that moment with her? All right, so that shot that you see uh, looking down, remember when I said yesterday that uh, my clients need to be camera unaware. So uh, before Kelly, she actually got married in the middle of the ocean. I convinced her to get married in the middle of the ocean. What happened was uh, initially, uh, you all know who Kelly Pickler is first, first off. She was part of American Idol and, and, and is the little blonde, cute country western singer who's totally incredible, both personality wise, heart wise, and her voice is sick. Um, but. Anyway, she hired me to shoot her wedding and then there was an issue with paparazzi and the press finding out where it was. So they had, you know, I don't know, 200, 350 people uh, lined up to, to be at the wedding. The wedding was canceled because she didn't want the press to be involved. So one day she called me up, she says, well, we were trying to come up with a new date and families didn't quite agree, couldn't make it, whatever. And I decided, you know, it's about m myself, Kyle and God. So we're going to run away and get married. So what are you doing New Year's Day, Joe? And this was uh, not this year, but last year. What are you doing New Year's Day? And I said, well, I'm, I'm at home. I said, uh, what, what's up? She said, well, we're getting married. We're running away. So she, I said, fine. She said, you want to come? I said, absolutely, I'm there. So I said, where is it? Antigua, a small little island outside of Antigua called Jumbie Bay. I said, OK. And uh, so I said, who's coming? because I remembered 300 people or so. She says, well, it's me, Kyle, the coordinator, you, and the videographer, uh, the five of us. Five of us, that's it? So I'm thinking right away, uh-oh, I've only got two people to photograph. What am I gonna do? What I remembered was that she said it's me, Kyle, and God. That's what it was about. So as we came onto the boat towards Jumby Bay, I asked the boat captain, where do they get married out here? And I was looking at the resort and the beach. And he said, for 18 years, right there in front of the resort on the beach at sunset time. I said, okay. But I didn't want to do what everybody else had done for 18 years. So I looked over to my left and I saw a sandbar out in the ocean. I said, what about there? And he said, nah, it'll be underwater. I said, underwater? Yep, at sunset time, the uh, tide goes up and that sandbar is underwater. I said, well, how deep is it? And he says, well, to walk out, it's mid-thigh, and then to stand out there, it's mid-calf. I said, okay. So, Kelly, I'm thinking, you, Kyle, God, in the middle of the ocean at sunset time. And she said, well, great, but how do I get there? I said, well, you got to walk through a little bit of water. What? I have this dress, expensive dress. I said, well, lift it up. <laughs> and like the trooper she is, she lifted her dress, walked through the ocean towards Kyle. The most incredible photos I think I've ever taken of a wedding between just two people. Nothing else around it but a beautiful sunset. God for them. The ocean. It was amazing. Before she went out to the ocean, there was an outbuilding, the oldest part of the island, that had a spiral staircase. It looked like a turret, right? It, it, it went up, and I said, well, let me go up first. So I ran up the spiral staircase and looked down, and I said, there's my shot. Okay, Kelly, you can come up. And so I hung over the edge on the bar because it was shot with a 14 millimeter wide angle, and I kept seeing from my knees down in the shot, and I don't like Photoshop, so I try to not have anything that I need to do in post-production. So I, I had a bigger gut back then, and I was able to wrap that little belly over the banister and take my feet off the ground, and I hung. And she didn't know. She was paying attention to her dress, and when she was halfway up, I said, Kelly, and she looked up, click. That was the shot, so that's the shot you saw. I have a shot after that when she's smiling, because now she recognizes the camera and she's grinning from ear to ear. But that initial shot, 
That shot that you see now is the essence of who she is in this moment. Only she knows what she was thinking and feeling in that moment. Because when she hit the top of the stairs, she raised her arms up and she screamed that she was marrying her best friend. And that's what she wanted to do there. Post-production. It's basically color correction and then I slightly vignetted the edges. That's all that was done. It was done in Lightroom. Nothing else was done to it. So as far as post, there are times where the images get dragged into Photoshop for the final book. So in other words, what goes on to Pictage in terms of the JPEGs, the edited JPEGs that the, uh, the clients see, is strictly Lightroom produced only. And so that is color correction, maybe some light vignetting. And then if there is blemishes to be removed, that gets dropped into Photoshop. If I have to smooth out the wrinkles, that's Photoshop. I try not to edit out all the wrinkles. I, I, I want it to be real. I don't want plastic skin. And we do it in layers if he does do it. Um, and pretty much that was done. Uh, for Kelly's shot that you see her coming up the stairs is simply Lightroom with the little vignetting. That's all there was done. Color corrections. It's absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful photo. Keep looking at it over and over. Yeah. Yeah. I like how the staircase is kind of cool. Yeah. And then around yeah. it's warmer. Yeah. That's and her cool. eyes just draw you in every time yeah. because it was that look of almost yeah. surprise and like there's not. Well, she wasn't expecting to be photographed. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Still finding like that recognition of like who called my name? What's, yeah. Yeah. What am I looking at? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful moment. Yeah.